Hey, and welcome back to our Eurolink Standards Comparison Vlog Series, Fastener Standards Comparison Vlog Series. Um, this episode is a very special episode because today uh, of the recording is February 12th. And, you know, this is our 12th episode, and uh, it just so happens that February 12th is a very important day because it was the day that I was born. <laughs> I'm just messing, man. Uh, but it was actually, you know, an interesting day, thing about this day, about my birthday here, is that uh, it, in addition to me being born, uh, that also uh, Abraham Lincoln, Charles Darwin, and of course Gucci Mane, they were all also born on this day. So very, very influential figures in our in our history there. Um, I'm just kidding about the, the Gucci Mane part relative to the other guys, but you know he is a big rapper and all. Um, so you know today we're actually going to be talking about uh, socket head cap screws. OK, and, you know, the the socket head cap screws out when I I mean, it really feels like I've done a video on this, does it not? Like I know we talked about some socket uh, socket set screws, but come to find out, I actually had not done a video on this. I know it's surprising to me. Uh, I I just like assumed I had, I guess it came up the other day because somebody was trying to buy some Den 912s or ISO 4762s. Their their RFQ actually said ISO 4762. And when I shot back the quote to them, uh, our quote had DIN 912 slash ISO 4762 in the description. And so, you know, the, the sourcing agent, she emails me back and she says, hey, make sure that uh, that's great and all. Make sure that we order the ISO 4762. And so I explained to her, I said, well, it's actually the same thing. It could say either on there. It could say both, you know, uh, but but the thing is, is that it's actually is the same thing. And, you know, and I understand your customer might be a stickler, but you know, it's important that we, we inform our customers, we teach our customers, and we make sure that they know what it is that they're getting and that, you know, the, the, the standards that exist aren't going to conform to, to, you know, what they might have expected in the past. Formally, uh, or not, yeah, formally, uh, previously, in the past, the, they were did 912. Right. Uh, technically, that DIN 912 standard has been withdrawn. I mean, now it is very common call out. You know, it's way more common than the ISO standard call out. Um, but they are identical. And on our quotes, when it, something is identical, that's when we put that slash in there and we, we put it together. If they're not, then we're not going to put them together in the quote. Right. Um, and so so I so, I, you know, I was typing up this email to her. I, I go to the website, to the vlog page, because I was like, you know what, I'll just get one of my links to the video and that'll kind of help her, you know, make sure that she understands the difference. And I realized I didn't have a link because it wasn't there. So, and then even after all of that, I kind of went back before I started typing this stuff up that like, hey, like I went back and double checked and triple checked that it wasn't there and sure enough, it wasn't. So this one's a pretty simple one. Let's get to it, okay? So first of all, DIN 912 and ISO 4762 are both socket head cap screws and they are dimensionally identical. Okay, so they are considered fully interchangeable, right? So let me say this clearly. They are the same thing. The end. All right, we're done. All right, I'm just kidding. No, but in all seriousness, there actually is some interesting differences here. Um, so, uh, and, and there were, they actually did make some useful adjustments. One that actually, you know, got my, like, nerd, nerdum on the fasteners kind of excited here. And I'll, I'll tell you guys in a second. Um, so you might be wondering, well, didn't you say they're the same thing? Well, yes, yes, I did. Uh, and if you're comparing the same size, that is. Now, the thing is, is that they did change some of the nominal range. So in the DIN, it went from an M1.4 to a um, M100, whereas in the ISO standard, the ISO 4762, it actually starts at an M1.6 and goes to an M64. So that M1.4 is gone. Um, and I've actually seen that come through my desk once or twice where people were looking for it. Um, that being said, with it being a little bit more rare and me only seeing it once or twice, I, I kind of see why economically they may have just cut it off for that reason, but more than likely they had engineering reasons. But, but the, um, but yeah, it's, it's not a common call out for the M1.4, but, but it is, it is kind of harder to find now if, if you are looking for it. Um, and then over the M64 diameter that they cut those out as well, I guess those were, I, I'm not exactly sure why they did that either, but, um, but yeah, so that M, anything above M64 to the M100, you would be looking for just a 912, really. Um, but the standard should be the same. Uh, also, the standard did cut out some of the second and third class, uh, preference class diameters. Um, so like your M22 and 
uh, things like that got cut out from the ISO standard. Uh, I think really the only second and third preference class diameter that was kept was the M14 for whatever reason. So I guess maybe there was enough demand for it. I don't know, but but they kept the M14. So all that said, if uh, you know if you're looking for an M10 by 50 Den 912 and A2 stainless steel, that's going to be the same thing as an M10 by 50 Den 9 or ISO 4762 in A2 stainless steel. That they're going to be identical, and so it doesn't really matter which one is on there. Um, and now, so here's to the neat one that got me a little nerdy about it. Uh, they actually did add a fine thread standard to the ISO. So so now you know before with the Den 912 you had to specify if you wanted that fine thread um, and and sometimes it was, it was a little confusing like sometimes it's a little difficult to source in that way and so now kind of like they did with hex head cap screws um, so if you remember correctly uh, the DIN 933 is going to be your full thread hex head cap screw and then the um, 961 right is going to be your full thread hex head cap screw but with fine thread so the 933 is coarse, the 961 was fine. The uh, same thing is true now for the ISO, that the ISO 4762 is your coarse thread, and the ISO 12474, 12474, uh, so 12474, that's actually your fine thread call out now. So, so if you're looking for a fine thread uh, socket head cap screw, then ISO 12474 uh, is going to be your call out for that. So that's kind of neat um, that they added that kind of thing, right? So and that's really it for today, guys. So as a review, DIN 912 and uh, ISO 4762 uh, are equivalent standards. And with the only difference in the standards themselves being that some of the nominal sizes were cut out, remember that it now goes 1.6 to 64, and that they cut out some of those second and third class preference um, diameters. And, uh, and then they also added that fine thread standard. So now if you need a fine thread socket head cap screw, you can ask for an ISO 12474. Okay, and so that's it. Um, as always, please feel free to send me any questions, comments, or of course, requests for quotes uh, to at London at EurolinkFSS.com or your respective inside sales rep. And check out our website, EurolinkFSS.com. And if you put forward slash vlog on there, then you'll be able to, you know, pull up the vlog and uh, be able to see all of our all of our videos. You'll see a whole lot of different versions of my beard. I know it's wild, right? Um, so. That's it for today. Uh, see you guys next time.